hey guys welcome to my channel thank you for clicking my name is joanna in today's video i'll be showing you how to cut and sew this dress and i have this tutorial already on the channel but then there's a different way of cutting this dress so stay tuned and let's get straight to the tutorial so like i said um i have it already on the channel this is this is it you can go and check that out so this is a different way of making it let's get straight to the tutorial all right guys so um these are the materials we're going to be using for this tutorial so i have my measuring tape a pair of scissors a piece of chalk one yard of african print fabric and then one yard of plain fabric and then i also have my ruler as well let's get straight to the cutting part so guys i'm actually making this particular dress for my big sister so this is the measurements the bust is 38 inches the waist is 32 inches the hip is 41 the round sleeve is 18.5 the sleeve length is seven and a half a cross back is 16 and then the dress length is 41 inches let's get straight to the tutorial okay guys to fold this for your cutting consider that of your widest measurements which in my case i have that of my hip measurement to be my biggest measurement so consider your hip measurements plus that of your sleeve length plus your seam allowance to fold this and the one yard was enough for this tutorial but then yours could be less or more depending on the body size that you're making the dress for so the next thing I went ahead to do is to con consider that of the full length of this dress, which is 41 inches plus 2 inches seam allowance for the shoulder joints and then that of the folding in at the down part of the dress. So that makes it 43 inches. So that's what I just marked. And I'm going to go ahead and then connect the point together. So the point that I just connected is going to be of my shoulder line. So guys, the next thing that I'm going to do is to mark half inch in like this on the folded side of this dress to be able to join it to that of the plain fabric. So I'm going to mark half inch all the way down. I'm going to mark half inch all the way down and then connect them together to make a straight line. So guys, like I said, this half inch seam allowance that we've just marked is what you're going to be using to join that of the plain fabric. So connect the point together like so. So guys, now the half inch seam allowance we just mark is going to be the starting point for the horizontal measurement intake. So I'm going to start by taking my vertical measurement. So this is my shoulder line. I'll go down to my bust line, which is 10 inches, to my waistline, which is 16 inches, to the hip line, which is 25 inches, that is 9 inches from the waistline. And then the full length of the dress, which is 41 inches like this. And the rest will be for the folding in seam allowance. So 10 inches to my waistline, 16. To my hip line, which is 25 inches. And then to the full length, which is 41 inches. So I'll go ahead and then straight the lines together. I hope you understood these calculations. All right guys, so I already have that of my bust line. I have my waist, the hip, and then the full length of the dress. So I'm not going to be taking that of my chest line. Now to get your chest line, divide your bust measurement by six, and then add one and a half inches to it. So approximately I had eight and a half inches like this. So I'm going to mark that out and then straight the point together. So guys, like I said earlier in the video, we are going to be cutting the sleeve together with the dress. So that's my chest line. Now the horizontal measurement, you are going to start marking it from a half inch seam allowance that you marked. So I divided my shoulder to shoulder measurement by two and then marked it from that of the half inch seam allowance we left from this line, eight inches. Now take that of my neckline width, which is three and a half inches, like so which is three and a half inches like so. Now we'll later come to that of the neck depth and how we are going to get, cut the neckline. So let's leave that for now. And then add my sleeve, which is seven inches like this. I will leave the rest to be for the folding in of the sleeve. Okay guys, so I went ahead to go to my bust line and I'm going to go ahead and then divide my bust measurement by four. Whatever I have, I'm going to add one inch for easiness. This is not going to be having a zipper at the back. So I'm going to add one inch for easiness like so. 
So that's what I had. I marked it starting from that of the, um, that's the one inch for easiness that I marked. And then I added two inches seam allowance. So I'll go to my waistline and then divide my waist measurement also by four. Whatever I have, I will mark it, add one inch for easiness and then add my two inches seam allowance. I'll go to my hip line as well and divide my hip measurement by four. Starting from the half inch seam allowance line, I'll mark that there, add one inch for easiness and then add two inches seam allowance like so. Now at the end of the trace, I'm going to mark whatever I had on the hip line plus two inches. I'm going to add two inches to whatever I had dividing my hip measurement by two. I'm going to add two inches to that, add one inch for easiness and then add my two inches seam allowance. I hope you understood this. I'll repeat the same at the end of it and connect it like this. So the measurement I had on the hip line, I added two inches to weight and then added my, in, um, my one inch for easiness and then join it to it. So it's going to look like an A-shaped dress like this. It's going to look like an A-shaped dress like so. So that's it. That is it. I'll go ahead and then connect the other, the seam as well. So this is how it came out. I hope you understand up to this point. If you don't understand anything, just leave a comment in the comment section and I will help you out. Please subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel. So guys, um, the next thing I'm going to do is to find the sleeve for this. But then I'm going to come down from that shoulder line, 0 0.75 inch, and then connect it to that of the neckline width like this. And then connect it to that of the neckline width like so. Okay guys, so the next thing we are going to do is to get that of our sleeve. Now to get our sleeve, I'm going to add one inch seam allowance to that of my sleeve length, which is um, 13 and a half divided by two. So I had six and three quarter plus one inch seam allowance. We're supposed to make it seven and three quarter, but then I round it up to that of the chest line measurement and then connected it to the side seam allowance like so. I hope you understood it. So that makes our sleeves together with that of the dress. So I'm going to go ahead and then cut this out without the neckline. So we are going to join the plain fabric to this before we mark that of the neck depth and then mark that of the neckline to cut this out. So this is it. I'm going to cut out the shoulder slant as well. All right. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be using this same piece to cut the same for that of the plain fabric. I'm going to use this to cut the same for that of the um, plain fabric. Okay, guys, so after cutting the same piece for that of the plain fabric, I'm going to go ahead and then cut open the center part like this. Open the center part and then cut open that of the plain fabric center parts like so before I join them together remember this is a sided two-sided um, dress all right guys so what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to um, so this is how it's going to look like side by side so I'll place I'll pick a piece of both the plain and then the African print fabric and then place them on top of each other like this with the right side facing each other. Pin it down and then join them with half of an inch. Okay guys, so this is how it came out after taking it to the same machine to stitch it down. I went ahead to join the other pieces together as well. So this is it. I'm going to flat iron it and then fold it like this. I'm going to fold it like this and then flat iron it. And then do same for the other side as well. I'll fold it like this to the right side of the garment like so. I'm going to fold the other side as well.
okay guys so this is the other half this is the other half as well i went ahead to fold that one as well and then place it on the other side now i'm going to be taking that of the necklines again so i went in by three and a half remember that's what we used when we we're cutting it earlier now the depth is optional just as the neck depth so i went down by five inches like this and then use my care ruler to give it a round neck shape you can make it any shape that you want so that's for the front part of the dress that's for the front part of the dress i'm going to mark that of the back part of the dress neckline on the front neckline like this so i went down by two and a half inches for the depth for the back neckline remember we're already taking that of our shoulder slant so i'm first going to cut that of the back neckline like this after that i will take out the front neck the front part of the dress like this and cut out the neckline like so guys this is simple so the top part of the piece is the front part and then the back part is that of the back part of the dress make sure you cut the neckline in such a way that the your client or yourself you can i mean you can wear it without having difficulty with your head passing through it Okay guys, so after this, I'm going to cut out some bias to, I mean, bind that of the, sorry, to pipe that of the neckline. So I folded this in bias like this, and then I'm going to cut this, at least two pieces of them for both the front neckline and that of the back neckline. So after cutting out one like this, it looks like a triangular shape like this. I'm going to cut the width of three and a half inches like so i'm going to cut another piece like so for both the front parts and then the back parts of the neckline so i'm going to take it to the same machine and then use this to pipe the neckline like so so this is how it's going to look like i'm first of all going to place it on the right side and then first join it to the neckline like this all round like so so guys um this is it after i joined it i stitched it on the right side of the garment so i went ahead to notch it all around i went ahead to notch it all around see how it came out so i'm going to fold it in like this on the wrong side of the garment and then join top stitch it all around so this is how it came out this is how i piped the neckline i went ahead to do the same for that of the back part of the dress so guys at this point i'm just going to place them on each other with the right side facing each other like so i'm going to place the front part on top of the neckline eh, sorry on top of the back part like this with the right side facing each other and join the shoulders like so and then join the shoulders like so with half of an inch so this is how it came out after joining the shoulders with half of an inch like so okay guys so like i said earlier we added some inches for that of the um the sleeve length so i just trimmed off the SS and i'm going to fold in this the seam allowance that we left for the sleeve length i'm going to fold in to to stitch down the hem part of the sleeve so first of all fold it in like three quarter inch like this I first of all folded in three quarter inch and flat iron it. I fold in one inch or three quarter inch again and then fold it in. That depends on the sleeve length you are using. So I'll do same for the plain fabric side as well and then take it to the same machine and stitch it down. Okay guys, so this is how we came out after stitching down that of the sleeve um, allowance. So I'm going to be attaching packets to this. So I went down by 19 inches like this. I went down by 19 inches. So this is the packet. I've already cut it out. So it is of weight of 8 inches. And then the length is optional depending on how long you want the packet to be. So I'm going to place the packet on it like this. With the right side of the packet facing that of the right side of the garment like this. I have four pieces and two pieces for each side of the dress. So I'm going to pin this down like this to one side of the garment like this. 
Okay guys, the next thing I'm going to do is to go down again by 19 inches and then attach the other side or the other piece of the packet like so and then place it on the other side and pin it down before taking it to the same machine to join it. So like I said, the length is optional. It depends on how long or how short you want it to be. So this is it. I'm going to join it like this and then join the other side like this. I'll do the same for the other side as well. Okay guys, so this is how the packet came out. This is how it came out after joining it to the side. This is the other side as well. So from here, I'm going to be marking that of my seam allowances. I'm going to be marking that of my seam allowances. So remember our round sleeve was 13 and a half. So dividing that gives me six and three quarter like so. That gives me six and three quarter like so. That's what I marked. So remember when we were cutting, we added two inches seam allowances to the side. So on my bust line, I'm going to mark the two inches seam allowances on my bust line. This is my waistline. I, I, I mark that as well on my hip and then the full length of the dress. So using that of the, um, the, the lines, the vertical lines on the African print fabric, that is what I'm using to be marking that of the um, plain fabric or better still you can just start from your shoulder line and then go down to mark that of your vertical measurement to use that to mark it so i'm going to connect the point like so i'm going to connect the point like so using my straight ruler to enable me be quick with it so like i said this is like an a shape dress the first tutorial is quite different from this one so remember the down hemming allowance the down two inches the end two inches seam allowance for the folding in so like this but before we stitch this down remember we've attached packets to the side so we are not going to be stitching it straight like this we are going to be adding that of the packet so from this point I'm going to curve like this from where the packet starts. I'm going to curve like um, three quarter inch from where um, the packet starts and then stitch it all around with the packet like this. And then at the other side of the packet as well, I'm going to curve in exactly like three quarter of an inch like this and stitch it together. So this is how it's going to be like. If you Join it straight like this, you won't be able to achieve your packet. That will be a waste of time. So stitch it like this, curve this way, and go around your packet like so. And then go around your packet like so, like this. Go around your packet like this. Curve and then go straight. So this part is cancelled. You are not going to be stitching that. Exactly the same you are going to do for that part of the African print fabric. Okay guys, so this is how it came out. This is how it came out after turning to the right side of the garment. So now it's left with the end part of the dress. I'm going to be doing the folding in. So guys, if you remember, we added two inches for the shoulder joining, which is half inches. So it's left with one and a half inches for the down part. So first of all, fold in half inch like this. Flat iron it and then fold in again one inch like this. I'm going to do this all around. Fold in first half inch and then fold again one inch all around. So guys, take it to the same machine and then stitch it down all around. So this is how my dress turned out. That's my big CC. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye.